Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about earning money with dog walking and pet sitting services on WAC. How does it exactly work in practice? Who is eligible to do this? And most importantly, is this a lucrative deal? How much can you realistically expect to earn as a dog walker and pet sitter in 2024? For example, on this site here, WAC. Well, we are going to cover all of these questions, so bear with me, drop a like, and now let us jump right into this. Alright guys, I don't know about you, but I personally absolutely love pets, animals in general, and dogs and cats specifically, and I also enjoy going on walks with my dog. What if I told you though that there is a way how you can turn your dog walking services into real profit? Hear me out. There are online platforms such as this one for instance, WAC, that allow customers like pet owners book so-called pet sitters for several pet sitting services such as dog walking, sleepovers, drop-in visits, as well as entire wellness and training sessions. Choose between a 20-minute, 30-minute or 60-minute stroll for your dog on demand or pre-scheduled. There you go. Customers are given the opportunity to book these services, for example, walks, by clicking on this button, by signing up on the next page and by selecting a service type on the following page. And you as a hobby or maybe even professional dog walker and pet sitter can benefit from the demand for pet sitting services in your local area and join sites like WAG as a walker or sitter. Is this a lucrative deal though? And are there any job requirements applicants have to meet? Well, let me elaborate. So on a general note, guys, dog walking can be done on a freelance basis, which means you're given the freedom and the flexibility to work for as many clients as you like, to set your own work schedule and to do this as often as you want per day, per week or per month. I mean, let's assume you live in a highly populated area such as the San Francisco Bay. Living in larger cities and urban areas does give you some advantage over pet sitters who live in smaller towns or in rural areas, of course. Nothing we can do about that, unfortunately, but let's just assume you live in a larger city such as San Francisco. As you probably know, countries like the United States have a huge percentage of dog owners, which means for you as a dog sitter, more potential clients and thus a higher earning potential for you. Naturally, the larger the city you live in, the more competition you will have. That should be pretty self-explanatory too. Now, long story short, as a freelance dog walker or pet sitter, you are free to set your own price per service. Like for instance, starting at 15, 20 or 25 bucks per dog walk, drop in visit or sleep over. For example, if your client needs to go on a business trip for one or two days and they need someone to take care of their beloved dog or cat or maybe even parrot, as you can see, pet caregivers here on WAC charge different sums starting at 18 or 23 dollars per service, for example. I mean, we can also compare prices in different parts of the country, like for instance, dog walking services in Chicago, Illinois. Now, as you can see, prices dog walkers charge may vary, also depending on the location or region. I can tell you exactly why, but as it turns out, dog sitters here in Chicago charge on average slightly less than dog sitters in San Francisco. Let me sum around 16 to 18 dollars in comparison to 18 to 23 dollars in san francisco long story short your earning potential depends at least to some extent on your location and naturally also on the type of service you offer for example dog walks are cheaper than sleepovers or dog training sessions of course which leads us also to the next question what are the job requirements and who is allowed to join let us find out click on this button here in top right corner become a caregiver and select your service type like dog walking or pet sitting because you can also take care of your client's cat or parrot or budgie or hamster if you like and if you have some experience in that of course too because guys that's one of the two major eligibility requirements you absolutely have to meet as an applying pet sitter here on WAC well you don't need to be a certified dog trainer with years of work experience to do this of course however you definitely should know how to take care of your client's pet for example, when and how to feed your client's cat according to your client's instructions, how to handle heated or tense situations while on walk with your client's dog, etc. etc. For instance, if your dog meets someone else's dog and how to ensure that everyone stays safe. Also, you should have a genuine love for pets, which should be pretty self-explanatory too. If you don't enjoy spending time with dogs and cats, I'd say you better look for another side hustle or job than this. Animals require attention and want their owners, or caregivers in that case, to show them some genuine love and affection, understandably. 
Also guys, take into account that most of these pet sitting platforms do background checks on applying pet sitters. Some may require from you to pass assessment tests during the application to check if you have the basic skills as a pet caregiver or not. For example, they might ask you questions about the aforementioned situations and ask you how you as a dog walker for instance would react in a tent situation outdoors with your client's dog and someone else's dog for example some ask you to familiarize yourself with their safety protocols for dog sitting and so on and so forth as said earlier you don't need to be a certified dog trainer to do this though you definitely should make sure you approach this well prepared guys taking care of animals comes with a lot of responsibility Bear that in mind, that's why WAG features a blog with articles, guides and checklists that may help you familiarize with the do's and also the don'ts of proper dog walking. So if you want to sign up as a caregiver here on WAG, make sure you don't skip these checklists I'd recommend. And lastly guys, do you keep your tips as a dog walker or sitter on WAG? Yes, you absolutely can do that and keep 100% of your tips if you like. At the end of the day, it may depend pretty much on factors like your location, your service type, the height of your tips, and also the height of your payment rates, how much money you may earn with this. As previously mentioned, you are free to do this even on full time if you want. It is absolutely doable, according to WAG's FAQ section, to make a living with pets sitting nowadays. To quote them on this, that depends on the rates each dog walker sets up, how many walks they complete each week, and the cost of living in their area. Some of the walkers on our platform make a full-time income walking dogs. There you go. So guys, to sum that up and to not make this video too long, yes, it is absolutely possible to earn decent amounts of money with pet sitting and dog walking nowadays, under certain conditions, of course. You need to be passionate about pets, that's the most important requirement. You absolutely must have some basic skills and knowledge in pet caregiving, and it wouldn't hurt to live in an urbanized, maybe even wealthy area with huge demand for pet sitting services. For obvious reasons, you may earn more with longer walks. For example, the average price or cost per walk for one dog in the United States would be $12.75 to $20 for a 20 minutes long walk, $17 to $27 for a 30 minutes long walk, and $25.50 to $37 for an hour long walk with your client's dog, which means under certain circumstances, it may be possible to earn even 37 bucks at an hour as a dog walker, which sounds indeed like a pretty decent payment rate and a lucrative deal. Well, provided you live in the United States, guys, which leads us to the second major requirement of becoming a dog sitter on WAC, you need to be physically located in the United States, because currently WAC operates only in the United States, actually in any state, including Hawaii and Alaska too. Well, I believe there are a lot of dog owners in Alaska, so why not? So guys, if you do live in the US, go ahead and sign up as a pet sitter on WAC if you think you are a good fit for that. Well, and that's also where we leave off for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time.